<laughs> that is this amazing. Is so Everyone here, there's a simple reason of why he did this. He lives in Canada. Someone just put their mods you. in their default from a three <laughs> add-ons no, 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 folder, and my small. brain hurts. Fuck see, I can do that because I am part German. Y'all want to see a Filipino. chicken on a water slide? See, this is sure, why I like why having not. more reservists, because by then I think we could have gotten these slots filled, because I, I, I would have wanted to brief by now. I have one more attempt. I have one where's, more uh, where's Lanky? Oh. Patrick, uh, should we expect a volume? Lanky told me, quote, well, the security thing's still going, so rip, enjoy the op, man. I'm like, but no, keep joining. No one has taken it yet. And he just didn't respond. Okay, so, so Lanky's a dumbass. All right. Um, Possibly, yep. I mean, if you guys, well, like, definitely. defeat yourselves before you even show up here, then you're dumbasses. I'm sorry. Come on, have Listen, some confidence. Listen, I know Canadian's been taking L's left and right, but I gotta give Canadian some credit. He's powering through this. He's fucking like, nah, I'm gonna play this off today. Good job, Canadian. You're not lanky. All right, I have one <laughs> slot left. I think Caleb just joined properly, and he'll take... Uh, Please, recovery yeah. team six, because slots are free for all at this point. Fucking oh, oh no! God damn it! Jester's Jester's with the uh, here's a here's the thing that annoys me, right? Hey, Jester! I've What's played up? with James in my main arm of I've I've played with James in that slot. I've played three different ops, and it never gave me this shit. That's because it's not on a keyed server, probably. No, it was on it was it was on Lyris uh, ops. And only Wait, now, you know about now this? it's doing this. Okay, I'm now gonna push us to brief. Again, this is all outlined in the document that was in the slotting request this time around. And every time I put out a thing for slotting to say the time, everything will be outlined in the document. So please. Are slots full? Slots yeah. are full. Yeah. Fuck. I at least you to watch Bye. the stream and you don't get to die just horribly as God damn it. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, too late. Enjoy the stream. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm bye, sorry. guys. Respectfully. You can, respectfully. Can you go watch us all right, die? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, die, die. die. Pushing us to map hold. screen now. Ooh. I'm gonna go get my food. See how many I wanna put a I'm gonna put a chicken nugget. I'm gonna put a vote up to what? see who Hatter. will die first. Hatter, why are you going to get your food now, not during the entire time that we were bantering? <laughs> <laughs> because he's not breathing. Hatter's a special I have a special Reno, I can not. No, no Hatter, you're done. Every time my brain hurts, I'm increasing the accuracy of the AI by 5%. So far, it's hurt twice. No. I'm not a no, squirrel. No, I am not a squirrel, point. so that's the thing. Okay, waiting for uh, all of the boxes oh. to show up. Uh, it says I can't open it because Rasmic Wall 3 didn't open Just, just hit the OK it. button. Just click it, it'll be fine. God, I don't know what Kalem does. Just mute myself until the awootism disappears. Okay. Oh, this map's <clears> fucking <throat> huge. Here's how it this is. is going to work, ladies and gentlemen. So, LZ Tartar was the original LZ where the remaining seal is still alive. The three other seal members are up there dead. You're going to have to collect their tags at the very least. Uh, the original chopper that came in to try to pick the people up at LZ Tartar is reported down at the GPS signature uh marked on the map uh people who survived are going to spawn there i don't know how many people died and survived because i can't speculate that number for you so pick up the dog tags of the ai and then move on there will be one body that spawned under a chopper it has like a 50 50 to spawn under the chopper uh if it does i'll just delete it because uh it won't be accessible because sometimes the chopper dynamically moves around otherwise there's bad people in here they're going to be going over there and going up there ASAP. So grab what you need and get a move on. I'd recommend that the two groups under Siri right now find a way to link up, but that might be very tough. You've got short range radios, though, and you'll be able to communicate with the recovery team coming in. Recovery team, I'd stay away from this town, this position, and that town in those positions with your chopper. Otherwise, you might get shot down by shit. Thank you for the notification, Paytons. Otherwise, that's really it. Again, AI are pre-placed. They're going to be immediately running in. So once I hit the continue button, good luck. Any questions to go through now? Yes. Uh, can we get um, a Hail Mary and a recommendation on LZ for recovery? Nope. Okay. So it's just as long as it's not near the downs, then it's okay. As long as it's away from the people trying to murder you. 
Now, while oh. this is going on, I highly recommend the groups here start making their way south, and then the group over here starts making their way north. This could quite possibly be an op where you find the Siri group, land, pick part of them up, deploy your squad to hold, and then have to ferry things back because unless, like, everyone in the AO dies, you're going to have to do multiple trips back and forth. Once you get back to the base, you can um, log out and watch the stream. Uh, even if everyone in the AO dies, you're going to have to and make an attempt to go find the dog tags, which is probably going to be in the middle of where all the bad people are. So keep that in mind. Um, I won't tell you if they all die, but if they stop responding on radio, that's probably bad. I will also say this. Uh, overarching general net is 5-0, so all units should probably have an ear on 5-0 to listen to each other, and your radios have about a kilometer range. Uh, oh. Back at base, you have a triple R Vic for the Huey. The crew chief, which I think I just said heli crew for the slot, you have a toolkit, you're set as an engineer. If your chopper takes damage, you can land and partially repair it. Otherwise, both of you should be able to fully repair and rearm it and refuel it back at base. Chopper also has spare ammunition uh, for 5.56 five, rifles and the M249. I don't think it has any spare GL rounds or other stuff, so some kits in the field might not get resupply. But this is, again, one of those ops where if you get utterly scuffed for ammo, you should probably loot a dead guy. Um, so if the chopper goes down, do we just have to walk back to base? You gotta walk, and I'm probably not gonna let you live. And if you, you said make an attempt, oh. if we make a, a genuine attempt to retrieve dog tags and it doesn't work out, can we just RTB? Or do we have yep. to, like, die trying to get the dog tag? Um... RTB, but you have to call it into me first, so I know. Okay. That's it for me. Okay. Any other questions? Does my UH-60 have doors? <laughs> Why would I give it? To... Of course, it has doors. Yeah, uh, well, you know. Actually, I'm... I don't think I'm not sure if it does because it has the one with the side mini guns. So. Oh no, no, I'm talking about the pilot doors. Mm -hmm. No, you you should have them. You, Fucking it's, government it's, cutbacks. It's like... It's like a 50-50 chance. You now, let me, let me also state one. something for the record. If the UH-60 is doing orbitals overhead and firing with the minigun, as long as you're flying decently, it's going to be impossible for you to get hit with RPGs, but you might take ground fire from statics at the towns. Again, towns have static MGs that have, like, you know, anti-material rounds that could fuck your chopper up, so do that in other places. Uh, I'm only going to ham-fist you with an RPG if you try to land to pick people up, and there's an RPG guy right next to you. So... Another thing, valleys require you to land at the chopper next to mountains. Those mountains might have dudes with RPGs. Tops of ridges or hills would probably be better. That's all the advice I'm going to give you. Thank you. Now, questions going once, going twice. All right, on your marks, get set. You're all going to die. Go <laughs> <Full> fucking <laughs> send. Oh, don't give me that bug, frick and fragging dagger nuggets. All right, I gotta quickly respawn. Here we go. Foggy check. Good check. Check check. Good check check. Good check. Oh my god! All right. You sure about that? That was when we south. All right. Radio check. So a single dude has spawned up here. Sam, I think he's already grabbed the dog tags of his comrades. There was also a few choices for other weaponry if he wanted them. He is now going to be running to the LZ. I have... Radio check. Up, yes, sir. That group coming up. Did. And I'm going to... Or that. I just realized I gave myself an MR3000. Whoops, but I think I have encryptions off, so. No, I might still have encryptions on. Alright, arsenal time. Um, you're gonna have to That's awkward. Fix your T-Fire real quick, my guy. Five, two, three, cool. This is team leader too high, you got your ears on. Says hi on five zero. Requesting radio check over. I'll try that real quick. Uh, good check. High command. I know, but I, I, I need high command. Fuck. I don't need anybody else. Radio, authentic. Grab your radio for him. 
Yeah. Yeah. What do you what? Also oh, that was on short range. Yo, yo, not that radio, the LR. Yo, no, we're not in the team speech. We're okay, Reno, Reno. I'm busy. Please don't. Real quick, real quick. Excellent. Gave him an MR3000. Uh, I gave him the 1523G. So. so. Hang on, wait. Leave what? Him um, did the lot? Did the slots delete? Because he might have to soft log. He's having TFR issues. Um, just have it dropped on the backpack then. Uh, and then he can pick it back up when he comes back. Hey, Leroy. Okay. What? It has us all not in a TFR channel in Teamspeak. Uh, oh shit. That's fine. It will still work fine. I just noticed, yeah, they deleted the TFR channel again, so whatever. We have multiple contacts yeah. in the northwest. I know that city. All right, so now the evasion begins because the local ground is fine. I believe they've picked up everyone's dog tags, but I will check later. You got Sam up here on his own. Let me go ahead and set up our global. And let's set everything up for the day. Setting things below 10 for accuracy. Everything else is going high. And we'll see if uh, forces start aggroing here. Yep. Deal with him if I will figure it out. And the okay. operation My begins. Team, uh, I'll try to get authentic situated, but we're burning time here. Uh, Olivia, do you want me to just have my team say yeah. behind? Lagoon, thanks for gifting out a sub. It went to Rhino Roadblock. Hope you both keep enjoying the operations, leader operations leader. and I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. So our single SEAL survivor is, is over the... here. He might be in radio comms with these guys. Uh, I've got forces coming up and around him. Let's start sending that team back. This group I'm going to send up here, they'll pull down that way. And I just tabbed out on accident. Sometimes I click out of my monitor because I've got this section over here is my uh, area to go to my other monitor and sometimes I accidentally scroll too far out. So anyway, I'm just going to be throwing a bunch of random uh, militia units from um, Middle Eastern style here. So these are Takistani going in, but I'm also going to work with some of this. I'm going to be doing full-on AT sections. Uh, no AA for today. But basically, my spawn pool is infinite for this mission. So if the player base keeps getting pinned down, some of them have E-tools they can dig if they need to. But otherwise, I'm just going to basically be burning their ammo ASAP. Sam, I think, just took a shot. Oh, he might be pinned right now. So he's got to be careful. Oh, yeah, you can hear him. got smokes he's got everything he needs to survive right there so he's just got to be incredibly careful but as these guys keep going i'm going to be sending more and more stuff above them they got to be careful going up this ridge though because that's going to expose their back so they're probably gonna have to use a lot of smoke grenades going up here uh they do have techies but i'm not going to use them unless i absolutely have to so lz is going to be all the way over here for the sake of reference i'm going to put some at squads down over here and this is just all about survival at this point. If they come up here, I'll put them down. So going ahead over here as well, but I hope you're all A-OK. -okay. And we'll see how things go. All right, the office is continuing. Sam is up here doing some quick medical. I've got these infantry guys coming down hot on his tail. You've got the player base slowly heading up right here. Tail guy, their medic should be not in the tail in all honesty as we have these forces coming up and hitting them on the rear. Lay sound. Whew. So you're starting to hear some radio contact from down there. I'm going to start pinning them in this ridge line as I'm just going to constantly keep the pressure on them. Essentially, they're going to be completely chased in this AO. 
All right, we got three guys back here that are holding the line. So what I'm doing is, by this, I can select everything here and change the orders at will. So this controls all of the units moving through, which is a really nice thing if I want to be chasing the player base up here. Because we're going to constantly be hearing gunshots. So overall, they have gotten quite a few kills around here. They just need to be Had mindful. Had a read. He just got hit. So they're calling the friendly coming out. Good grenade throw right there that did stop some of the horde coming up. But now they got a way to get through uh, at this position. I am, however, going to have a distant team start coming in to cut them off. But I'm not sending sending all my any of my units to fast move. Uh, this mode right here because um, through the mountains they're already pretty slow, so it doesn't really change much on mountain maneuverability. But they have Sam in play right now. Chopper is flying around up here. Trying to find a decent LZ at this point. They should be trying to get radio contact here. But I imagine this off's only going to last like an hour tops. It's all about the recovery team and these guys getting together. And then the chopper slowly pulling people back. But when the infantry are landed, this chopper can come in and start giving assistance with minigun fire. If they pull away enough from the town. Because the town has statics that can easily shoot that chopper down. So otherwise, you got these guys got in the field doing working. their best here. The AI are slowly lurching in on their position. So chopper is basically flying around, making sure there's no infantry around. They're being incredibly cautious, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing. But now it's just a matter of the AI trickling down here. And me slowly setting up the AI to actually, you know, move. Because sometimes their pathing gets stuck on some of these hills and rocks, unfortunately. But I will constantly be putting down more guys to come in. Because this is just all about a survival op against uh, an unending enemy. Killing the force just delay, uh, just, you know, buys you a few minutes as more slowly mount up to come and attack. So move those guys up closer to the squad lead. But they need to keep moving. Because if they dilly-dally for too long, they're SOL. And now they're in a really tough position right here. They should probably stay low and use their smoke grenades to move forward. Downing. Now I'm going to say a fire team spotted them landing and is going to go over to put pressure on them. Set your intercom to crew. Hey, Lord Tap. Good afternoon to you. But yes, yeah, so as I fly around, you can hear different groups of their uh, radio comms interacting here. He just took a hit to the shoulder. It looked like a headshot, but I think it uh, clipped to his uh, arm instead. You can hear the static of the other teams going. That's nice, as That's nice. Well, there will always be more weird Canadian. So, yeah, from over here, we can hear the static of the other teams talking. You got to be careful, though, because behind them, they got forces coming up on them. Yep, they finally noticed. Lee Enfield, I mean, their accuracy is pretty trash, not going to lie, for the AI. Need to keep moving because now you're starting to get encircled here. 
They got smoke grenades. I just haven't seen them use them yet. But at this rate, they're going to run out of bandages. So I'm adjusting the metric. There's another team coming in behind them. Forces are going to start coming in from that area, too. So these guys need to move. They still have everyone up right now. They don't have anyone down they need to worry about. Oh, no, I stand corrected. Uh, most 20 seconds. Because if they start getting pinned and there's too many people down, it's going to be over. You're going to have to wait for the recovery team to come in, but this is a multi-kilometer distance. up. They need to go. They need to go now. Alright, we're seeing some smokes pop here as they move up. There's a team right in front of them now. That one I called in earlier. So they're doing their best to hold from this position. You're gonna have those flanking forces come around too. Great GL right there. Now they're going to be able to break through. Put another force as a blocking unit to come in. But look at all this infantry coming up. I can also start deleting bodies behind them. But these two need to move because otherwise they're going to get pinned. So I'm not sure if there's a miscommunication in play here, but they got to go. Five others are uh, booking it. Yeah, Tilsitter's the guy in charge of that team too, so I don't know why he's sticking back here. Forces all the way out there. It's going to be a tough climb, but eventually these groups will meet. Now Tilsitter's moving. Llama is not. These guys need to be on an Overwatch position to cover them moving back instead, otherwise they could get caught out here. Oh, this is messy. He might be crippled, or it's because of the, the mountaintop, but there should be infantry up here covering him, because if he gets shot multiple times, he's going to go down. Thankfully, the Death Blade's working for him, but the AI's hot in his heels. We need to see more maneuvering. Solid copy, waving off. So you can hear the chopper now on 5 0. Again, we're slowly moving these forces around. Oh, dear. So we got a few teams uh, fighting them. Only small forces, though, because they were meant to break through and continue moving. These guys, though, need to keep moving south. Because otherwise, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Because uh, that swarm is right next to them. A few well-placed grenades will help delay it, but it's not going to be enough. Here, one second. Helicopter to high command. <laughs> Poor Caleb. This is high send message. Are we allowed to go out of the bounds of the... Yes, yes, you are. Okay, thank you. All right, so they've broken contact, which is good, because that's going to decrease the likelihood of me sending stuff, and it's going to mean that they're going to start gaining some distance from the swarm until the next firefight, which is already here. 
But at this rate, they're going to use these ridges to move down on. Caleb sent a message to me saying he doesn't trust any of these guys. Because <laughs> they should be pushing through the contact to get to friendlies. They shouldn't be pinning themselves down to deal with a few fi um, riflemen. Uh, and if anything, they should have the UH-60 above them to also provide minigun support if it's not over here, providing support to the Siri group. So, it's very messy. Hey, it's alright, uh, Mad. We always have more operations. So these guys are basically watching this route up here. So it's just all about keeping this horde going. Oh, didn't mean to delete that one extra, that's fine. I'm gonna keep the bodies along there, keep the bodies around the original ambush site. group of chuckleheads over here. We're going to do another team that's slowly coming in. But these guys are deeper in the badlands here, so they're working on them. But now we're starting to see some more momentum here as they're basically moving ridge to ridge. What the point is, these guys are going to drag all these units here, which is going to make the pullout a lot tougher. So while half the player base is being extracted, the other half should still continue to push south, because if they don't, they're going to have this massive swarm to deal with, and I don't think they're going to do it. But, I mean, they're starting to make some good distance now. Uh, they've moved about a few hundred meters at least. And now the groups are within a little over two kilometers of each other. So it's good progress so far. But again, uh, it's meant to be a slow progression to extend the time of this operation overall for like, you know, an hour. So we've saw, seen a few of these guys go down, but they're still keeping that momentum, but they're not doing the method where they carry the casualty away. They're keeping their pinned. And, you know, as more infantry slowly come up here, it's going to make that method a little tougher and tougher. So they've cleared the way again with that squad, so I'm going to spawn another one further back and give them room to maneuver. So every time they clear that forward element, I'm spawning another group about 500, 700 meters away to come in, and that's going to then provide another blocking action to give time for the horde to continue to move up on their paws, uh, basically to keep applying pressure. We see another smoke grenade being thrown. It's a little low, though. Uh, they need to consider putting it at their feet, but they're going to basically be moving along this ridge line, probably climb up to this ridge line as well. So yeah, UH-60, don't know why it went further south. It should be going north. But yeah, these guys are still dealing with uh, intermediate contacts. They, again, should not be stopping and engaging because that's just going to... I know, that's the wrong way. That's just going to slow them down. They should be a lot more mobile because... Uh, I mean, if these guys can be more mobile and they're, you know, literally running for their lives, those guys should be a little more uh, active on it. All right. So, where's Lama? No one has died yet. There's there. been a few downs, but... Let's keep moving uh, south. I told everyone who signed up, like, this is probably going to be one of the harder ops you play in here, simply because if you make a mistake, I'm not being merciful. And the AI are already going to be coming to your position as soon as the mission starts. So you have to be quick, because even if I'm having tech issues, the AI are still going to come after you. Just because the Zeus goes down doesn't mean the op stops in this case. So now we're at the mercy of waiting for that combat group to run into them, and that's going to bring the uh, groups forward, but I'm still running them on their previous position. So any units that are further back in the horde, I can delete and then respawn later as needed. Just so it doesn't, you know, clog up the server with 500 or so AI tracking them. Plus, units that slow down can um, make the entire squad Downing slow down here. as well. Ready? So again, 
casing more AI around, coming from multiple different directions, making it tougher as time passes. They have this really nice but also pretty nasty rugged terrain to fight through with all of these uh, bushes and whatnot. Whew. So Firefight's going to keep to that central spot, but they are starting to outrun the AI, which is good. So this gives them the breather they need to move on, but they have limited stamina. So they have to eventually stop for a second, and that's where I can catch them. So we got forces trickling back and forth. Units are within about a kilometer and a half of each other now. Chopper's finally moving back in. Don't know why it did. Was there anyone in the chopper that they were grabbing as like a late join or something? Nope, it's just those two. So I don't know why they went south. They should be, you know, going, looking for the, at least trying to establish radio communication with these guys. Check. Radio check. Is anybody cop? I copies you, but uh, beyond that, negative over. So now when I have groups around here, I'm gonna basically send them out in random directions uh, as we try to get the trail again. Until we, you know, reinitiate contact and then the shooting continues. As you can see, there's quite the horde back here. Speaking of. Start gunfire, yep. They got infantry down the ridge on the right here. And the horde is going to continue to follow. I'm going to go ahead and delete bodies. continue by this point i think these guys can start to hear that gunfire so i'm actually going to recall everything and send them over to that fight recovery team six two ranger radio check recovery team do you copy this is recovery team six two ranger detachment do you have your ears on so now I'm going to be putting AI in the position to run into these guys as they slowly maneuver. This is Recovery Team 6. I can hear you. You guys got your ears on over there? Six. That's cute. So I could very well get these guys pinned here as well. We have a large trickling of forces starting to come in. Again, deleting anything that's lagging behind or going this in separate is directions. Recovery Team 6, 2, Ranger. Do you have your ears on? Over and over. Yes, uh, can you hear me? Sound like they're firing RPGs at units. Hear you. Hear you. A little high right there. But yeah, now they're starting to take fire from the rear. So they need to consider moving. Don't know why he grabbed a messenger bag there, but that's interesting. Yeah, so they're otherwise continuing to move on here. Need to keep pushing up that ridge, though. They're probably within about a kilometer of each other now. Spec Ops, we just caught you. You yeah, got a little your ears bit. on? So I'm actually going to send that team back locally because that's the closer firefight. Recovery Team 6 to Spec Ops, we just caught your traffic. Do you, where so would you like to meet they might be, be losing comms up? with each other because right. intercept coefficient of the, radi of the ridges here might be catching their radio comms, so they have to be careful about that. Multiple bases on your radio. We're at the blue mark. 
Copy, some the blue and marker. If you want to hold position, I'll advise squad leader to move recovery team six there. How copy? Surprised they're not using the chopper support because I told them they could use uh, the mini guns to support. They've got to make sure they're not nearby any like villages and shit. So I think I spooked them, I guess. Uh, yeah, what's up? We're currently at hill one six. Not use it, which is a shame. But it does make sense why they're being so defensive with it. Back up, back up. Is heading there now. I don't know how it looks. Sam is the SEAL team guy who's still alive. Uh, he was the sole survivor. He's still here. Uh, there have been no KIAs yet, but I'm a little worried right now because now the bl uh, blunt of the horde is starting to get here. Spec Op guys are on top of the ridge here. We are not at the blue estimate. I am going to send shit from every direction. Rangers, tab, uh, spec ops, we have eyes. Because now they're starting to get pinned because they've stopped moving. So these guys need to double time it down to their paws. Because this is where things might start getting messy. I need to pick a position and start breaking out, otherwise I will swarm them. Why is the recovery team... Yep, so they're now moving as quick as they can here. People are getting hit left and right, though. Now you're starting to see some smokes getting popped. They're going to move. All right. So they're going to pick the direction to move through. They still got quite a uh, few units they're going to have to move for, uh, with, though, to get through. I'm not going to let them move far, though, here. Llama's down. Yep, so they need to push and still bring forces forward. They're going to need someone to pick him up at this point. They need to commit to this movement of direction. They can't keep medicking him in the open. They need to move. They need to basically kill these AI and then just keep moving. Patchwork, he's running for it here. I don't know why he's running on his own. For some reason, Lee on the fucking slots. Recovery team, this is Big Bird. Now copy. Well, that's because the radio is pre-programmed, so and it's meant switches. to be easy for them to switch through everything. So, it's a shame. Now we're starting to see them pick uh, up this guy, and they're going to continue moving. Adder went down because some people were right next to the smoke grenade. Started picking up enemy guns, too, and they're continuing to move. This is recovery, recovery team six, you got your ears on? Or excuse me. Spec ops, you got your ears on? Hey. Be advised, I'm moving towards you. South, southwest. Hey, firm, uh, we might be taking casualties here. They need to get him in the cover, because this is where it's going to start getting messy. Sam went down. They've got, looks like three people down at the moment. Recovery Four people. Ah, uh, nope, he's looting. Bird, copy. Go ahead, Big Bird. We're orbiting just north of 1648. What's the set rep? Stand by. We can make contact. Back up. Now. Please, for the love of God, call in that air support. Oh, God. They're gonna lose people here. Cause he's medicating in the open with no cover. Sam died. Sam. 
dead. Oh man, dude. Patch ran up on his own and got headshotted. That's not good. But again, why would you run up on your own? Now this team's starting to break through, but they're taking contact. Oh, this is getting messy. This is probably going to be a cleanup off instead at this rate. Because they got, they got pinned. I don't know why Patch ran up on his own. That's probably the biggest mistake of the group. Like, why would you run ahead of your guys? But... Big shame. So you got two two man cells here. You got the third two man group down, one KIA. But yeah, this is one of those ops where you can do really well, and then as soon as you stop that pace, you're screwed. How did you how did you miss that guy? Someone just saved your ass. So recovery team, I think, is going to make it to at least start uh, helping to pull people out. But this hey, is getting on messy. The way up the hill to our south, uh, is the hill clear? Uh, I think their communications have completely busted here, which is why uh, it's a tough call. But at least the recovery team is going to make it at this point. I'm not sure if Patch is going to survive, though. He got headshotted. So these four are now holding this rock. They're trying to get into a position to pull their two wounded back. But the onslaught of infantry isn't going to let them until they get reinforced. Then they might be able to, but even then... It's tough. They're going for it, though. I got to commend them here. They really are going for it. So it's still sitter trying to grab the gun. No, they just did a sweep around. I found Patch. There's Patch. Oh, now we got uh, our second KIA. Alvlar might join him in a second. Tilsiter ran towards the horde and got taken out. Ah! Oh. Now you hear the UH-60. Yeah, no, they're they're pulling away. They're leaving those two behind. Jesus. They got reinforced. I can't call the chopper in. It's up to them to call the air support in. I already told them the parameters of if you're not around the villi uh, villages, then the chopper calling in should be fine for gun runs, but it's up to them to actually do it. And that minigun could be really helpful right now. Now they need to find a place to basically call evac in here. Now I'm only going to be putting like a fire team in their way from the full south now that that parameter has been met. Crouching, this is Big Bird. There is no contact with that chopper though. That is the really concerning part about this. Because the guy that had contact with the chopper decided to run. He's dead. He has died.
This is high if you can hear me. You're clear for evac. Just take what you can and get the fuck out of there. Over. I'm not sure they're going to be able to pull out with everyone's tags because this is... Oh. Alright, they're smoking and trying to pull out. That's what they need to do. Biddle, he's on his own. He's got a... Get with his forces. Yeah, I mean, Tilsitter, for example, he uh, pushed the wrong way are? right in the middle of... Very yeah. More in you. It's where a lot of people have died, I'm unfortunately. That's where I think the 4 KIA war, there's a fifth one up there. Now the question is, they, I think they might have enough, um, I'm trying to consider how many people you can fit in the chopper, it's 14 total, so one pot, two people in there ready, so it would be 12, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, they could actually all escape in one chopper run, because they've had 5 KIA. But now they're gonna essentially get the breather, and I'm just gonna chase them at this point. I'm just going to give chase. At Getting this point, they need to get on. Uh, they need to get onto the chopper to call in. No way, this is Rangers. Seals are dead. We've lost all the seal tags. Oh, they lost the seal tags too. That sucks. I mean, you can see the amount of people they've killed, though. Rangers currently have three up out of six. They're RPGing behind them, getting some kills with that, which is great. No, we don't even range with like an army special operations team or something. The chase will continue. Got a guy go down. Yeah, Matt, I think I noticed that you went down because there were two guys coming through the smoke and uh, they just, you know, point blank, even at, like, I have the A at 7% accuracy right now. They still are going to be accurate. Bro, the recovery team LA. just left the... Hey, Joe, Mama, we be surrounded. Whimsical, I think, just glitched authentic out. There we go. Here would not be the best place to call in the bird. They need to get distance from this horde and keep pulling out. They need to basically plan an LZ for the bird to basically like sweep an area, determine it's clear, and then these guys need to pull out. Because if they keep, if they try to extract by the horde, it's going to get messy. Oh, I'm gonna be honest. Again, like they were doing a great job. Recovery team, this is UH-60. I need your corner to land. What just happened to the server? I think someone's internet connection just caused a network hiccup. Really feels like a minute. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. It's not with my connection, though. Alright. A little bit fucked, I think, because of desync. Ah, uh, solid copy. Let us know when the world returns to normal.
That's fine, I know how to handle this shit. No. Hey, one second. Let me go look at the network traffic. Excuse me. That's a lot of yelling. There's like 20 different reasons that could be happening. I'm not getting any chains though, which to me makes me think it's something server side. There's a few different things that it could be. Yeah, but is everybody still decent? I don't know. Get up, Jacob. Everyone is so decent. Yo, FHC is moving. Is moving. Uh, FHC is a movie on my screen. Am I spinning? Because that's all I've been doing. Yeah, he's sliding is all he's doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're spinning now. Huh, weird. Okay. Yeah, you're spinning is This is very good game. Yeah, if it's still desyncing, then move. Yep, stand by. Pull those AI back. Let's delete a few more bodies and let the server recover here. He said on he 50, stand by. stand by. Yeah. Oh, it takes that. Okay. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. I'm tracking what I can here. Llama. Yeah. Where'd you get the M240? Oh. So, I mean, it's two things. It's either uh, a network issue with the internet itself, which is possible, or he does. One of the two. Ranger squad. Based off of what I'm seeing here and the lack of a chain, uh, it's not the DDoS that I normally know. The people who were sent no. in as the first, the first recovery team was a bunch of army rangers. The second recovery team with the buzz was, which was so a bunch of volunteers. Let me also look again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah, that's fine. I mean, I just basically micro the server and change it out, so it's fine. What, what do I need to look at right now? Because the server's doing the thing where it is slowly chugging through it, so there's either a throttle... But the uh, server performance is fine here. So it's a network side issue. Huh. Otherwise, how's everyone's day as I try to diagnose this as best as I can? Log RPT is fine, so it's getting touched in a different way. Yeah, it's a network thing. So yeah, it could be a DDoS, could be someone's connection just literally dragging the server down. Because it can happen that way. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna repack magazines this while, this while, while like I wait. Like every off for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> just, just repack your magazines while you wait. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh wait. Wait, 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 don't move. Everyone spin in a circle if you, if, if these things are gone. Everyone start spinning. Holy shit. Start spinning, start oh. spinning if your d sync's over. No, I still see people moving in place. Again, could be a plethora of issues. I don't have the time to diagnose it. Oh. Oh, 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 are you good? Oh, good? I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I give you that. Now we're good. Hey, 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 are you good? Are you good? Yes. Oh, okay. dang it, Reed. Hello. Hey, are we back on Earth? Okay. Is this uh, high sun message? Did we get a mass heal slash revive? Stand by. So, yeah, I'll diagnose it later. Hey, UH60, fun uh, fact the world has returned to normal. Say again? Uh, world has returned to normal. Please send help. Please send help. Was that the message? Yes. Alright. 
who I got left. Solid copy. Come here, I come need here, your come coordinates. Here. Oh, that's me. Ah, uh, uh, stand by. We're gonna get at a better location. Hey, Jester. Tell him no. to take to go back to the landing zone. Jester, over here. Take it. I know. Tell him to go. Well, I don't even need to do that. So, well, we can go. You want to go back to that fucking place? Actually, hang on, hang on. Uh, yeah, say, tell him to find. Search for an open area where we where he can land and will and mark it on map and will move to it before he lands. All right. Let the war continue. So, could be a few different things right there, because I noticed uh, Authentic's character was Ground glitching team, out. This is air. So uh, I need your coordinates to come pick you up or do some strafing runs. Uh, you can you can pick your LZ for whichever one you're comfortable at. Our current coordinates are actually standby. Let's go. Stand on, let's go. Let's move southwest. Let's go. I want to fall back to 468, unless that's too far. Just mark that's, something that's on that. map and I'll come find you. Okay, we'll Could be a few different reasons. Uh, this is bird. Just yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Mad Hatter. It might have been your network completely desync in the server out because that happens, unfortunately. Because I didn't see any traces of a normal DDoS because that behaves differently, so I don't know. Hey, oh, no, oh, fuck, I pick you up. So this is giving them an opportunity. Chopper is still doing orbitals here. It looks like they're going to try to run back to their original LZ, which is fine. They're popping smokes to try to pull away. But yeah, we're back in business. I Pilots, uh, mark a... Could have been anything, to be honest, <laughs> but hey, it's one. over. It's fine. It's fine. Pilots, that marker rec room plus spec ops is about to be overrun by enemies. Ground, this is air. We'll set 1468 as primary unless it's too hot on arrival, and then we'll move south. Solid copy. Copy. Still gonna put some fire teams in their way. But yeah, main horde's still gonna track them, and I need to respawn some stuff because I deleted quite a bit. Alrighty. So I just need to keep a move on. Yeah, I don't know why you would use hotel Wi-Fi because there's a lot of problems that can arise with it, but whew, it's fine. All right, infantry pretty much hot on their heels now. But again, um, when this specific server gets DDoS, because it has in the past, usually uh, based off of the two different types of attacks I've seen, there is always a yellow chain and a red chain because the server can't handle everything. This one feels more like what Hatter said, uh, where one person's connection just starts killing the entire server and the server is doing its best to catch up for that one person because that's just how Arma's netcode works, unfortunately. Keeping them hot on their heels here. It's just a massive horde going. They are trying to move back to their original LZ, which is a good call, admittedly. So basically sending everything up there at this point. I think I can delete everything up on the northern side as well for the sake of frames. Oh yeah, shit happens.
So yeah, one of the symbols just disappeared, which means they, uh... Break out right this range, just wait. Good job of shooting stuff. Uh, we're currently off your... We're currently off your two You need to go! Well, we got to make our way down the hill towards 68. I think they're going for that position right there. You want me to pick you up from that's closer so more and more down there. Wall. So long as you can secure it, is it a big enough place for me to land this thing? I can do it. Yeah, we'll the problem. yeah, that's fine. I think I see an LZ standby. We'll get to it. Solid copy. Let's leave the AT guys. Let's see what they do. Uh, I think doing the multi counts as a view for both people. I actually don't know the exact science behind it. It's more so just something I provide for uh, people because people like watching multiple views. But now they've completely broken off. I mean, using that as an LZ would be good. They just need the chopper to be like on landing approach at this point. Because if they get to there and then wait for the chopper to come down, that's going to give the AI enough time to get into position. Recovery team. Uh one of the range seem appear to be missing. One lamb, he has a heavy machine gun. You can find him. Is this him? Is Olivia still alive? Yeah. So that's the uh, other person on the hey, ground that you're watching. Missing? One ranger named a lamb. Yeah, I'm trying not to force it, honey, I know, but... Are y'all still doing debrief? I know. I can't move. I gotta work. I'm sorry. If you're in this channel, um, can you not speak? Because TFAR didn't move everyone because someone deleted the TFAR channel. So just wait till you hear other people speaking. I apologize. Sorry, Leo. I'll move out. No, shush, shush, shush. Yeah, yeah. be able to zip honey because i know but your hair's in the way and i have an op to manage i'm really sorry boo this is not the time to be doing this okay i'm working sorry she got a new cosplay so she wanted me to zip up the pack for her can you hop so long as you give me enough clearance and there isn't anything like a big tree or rock in the way i'll do it I have a dog? No. I think we have enough room for pets in this household right now. You look good, boo. I have to work, though. So I got the UH-60 circling around right here. That's a good LZ for this position. It's away from most of the stuff.
But I think they can bring everyone out in one go. If you're not here by the time... Yes, that's an accurate statement. Leroy is Bloodwing's pet. I'm the doggy. <laughs> <laughs> Slant, he could try putting it right here. Should I? Should, nah, I'm not gonna take the shot. All right. That's it. Puric victory. Definitely better than what happened historically. Satisfying, holy shit. What the fuck? Five I'm okay. 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 Alright, so first off, I don't want to apologize. Uh, let me poke patches. Um, Wait, you're... Uh oh. <laughs> so, Hello, there's a, supposed to be a TFAR channel under here. I don't know who came in and deleted the TFAR channel between the last stop and this stop. I will add that to my checklist to make sure it's put back down. Uh, when there isn't a TFAR channel, it just keeps us all on the same channel and it still behaves the same way, so that's fine. Uh, otherwise, uh, Siri teams, you were doing great until you weren't, uh, cause it pretty, you <laughs> basically stayed in a position for too long, unfortunately. Patch then ran ahead of his entire group to try to establish contact with you. And then just before, like within 50 meters, uh, he ran into two guys. And I think one of them headshotted him. That wasn't me. That was literally the AI. So oof. Yeah. Um, comms are tough on that map because with Clafgan, you have massive roaming ridges, and they will intercept your communication, similar to how real radios work. Um, Chopper could have been used a little bit better in the sense of, uh, I did say in the beginning, you can do orbitals with it and shoot at things, but just don't do it around towns and stuff because they will fire back and most likely hit you. So the way the group was pulling back, there was a lot of room for the Chopper to do gun runs if it wanted to, but it chose not to. Uh, still picked everyone up that survived and pulled back, and because five people died, there was enough people for everyone to fit in one run. Uh, otherwise, desync, uh, that happened, uh, didn't look like a DDoS, because when we have a DDoS, we usually we see a yellow and a red chain occur, uh, intermittently on the bottom right, uh, usually just a lot of yellow. This one, uh, it was tracking network traffic from one single source, so that means either it was a single DOS attack, or it was someone's network connection, and one of the people here was playing on a really shitty Wi-Fi connection. So that was me. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I know. I wasn't gonna name you, I but I don't. I don't care. It's I'm fine. Sure. So, I, 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 yeah, but let's 
Let's continue. Guys, let him finish. So, uh, uh, so, um, so guys, please. No, it's not open for him. Let him finish. So uh, that was why there's a decent period. I healed everyone. Um, it could have also been triggered because uh, Authentic got in the weird glitched animation where uh, if someone goes to drag you, uh, they instead get stuck to you. And that's what I think happened to him just before that. So it might have just caused a network bug there. But I was getting network uh, messages to indicate that it was either a DOS or someone's connection just fucking over the entire server. Because welcome to Arma. It rarely happens, but it happens. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, I mean... 50-50, you're all going to die, so at least that didn't happen, but uh, if you're part of the team going in to uh, back the people up, you gotta know when to break contact. You don't need to kill every single dude in a fire team. You just need to keep moving because had you arrived there a few minutes earlier, I think we would have been able to pull everyone out because it was within the five minute mark of you guys meeting each other uh, when they started to go down and then two minutes later when they started to actually die. So LZ choice was fine. Uh, chopper use was okay. Um, could have been a bit more aggressive with it, but I understand, you know, not wanting to lose the one asset you got. And everything else uh, seems A-OK. -okay. Feel free to bash me in feedback. Let's go seal guy, then team lead of the down chopper, and then team lead of uh, recovery team, and then team lead of, um, or excuse me, the chopper pilot. In that order, please. So Sam, yep. you're first. So I was on the hill, got the dodge tags. I was on 60, 60's default net, that's all right. I was in radio range of the recovery team or the range uh, special army special op. So got in contact with them. Uh, uh, and then Mac, Mac Marine, I understand you don't like other people, but like, come on. If I'm trying to communicate with the squad leader, just let me communicate with the squad leader. What? Um, anyway, I regrouped with them and then we moved on. Yeah, and basically stuck with them for the rest of the time. Uh, I died. We were getting overwhelmed. Um, sometimes if you're getting pushed in two directions, it's better to wait kill contact in one direction and then push because i think that's what got a lot of us killed is red team went to push southwest and then went down or got seriously injured and were unable to wear out the contact that was in our direction yeah yep, there that's... were um some issues with um part of the group would leave and not overwatch for the rest of the group so the rest of the group was kind of scuffed so they'd eventually break out, then they'd have to spend, you know, a good 30 seconds to a minute bandaging, and that's what also slowed down your momentum. So if you're trying to pull out of an area, make sure you are covering each other. Otherwise, it will scuff your momentum. But otherwise, uh, team lead for the downed CH-47. Going once, going twice. Cool. Team lead for, squad lead for the UH-60 recovery crew. Um, That's me, right? Yes. Yep. That's you. Um, we got to the landing zone and it, everything was going well and then it just seemed like everyone got on the mic to basically talk to their grandmother and I couldn't really communicate with everyone else um, we got closer and it's like it's when the desync happened so I figured what, like you were saying uh, I glitched out and died because of it because they couldn't really treat me and uh, when we came back it was just Still, grandmother's speech. We we're trying to get up closer. I thought we were going to the original landing zone, but it's just me being confused. Um, pretty much got on the helicopter after that, and it was mission over. All right. You ate 60? Uh, I didn't really have uh, much to say. I, for the most part, couldn't hear half of you. The, the, the sounds of the helicopter drowned out even my crew chief so that's why i was calling for repeats of coordinates and you know say your last etc etc mainly because i couldn't hear anything and yes when i did dip beneath the mountains all i could hear was a robot um i was told to wave off more times than not i understand because of the whole stray rpg or some lucky ak shot through a non-existent door would put me out of commission so i didn't mind flying around just watching everything um all in all, yeah. 
All right, uh, it is open. I will be back in a second. All right, so we'll be back at about 9 o'clock for um, New Horizons, I think, Phase 14. Thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers. Have a good one.